Buckingham Palace's statement on the Queen's health has been called into question by BBC royal correspondent Nicholas Witchell. The palace announced yesterday that the Queen had stayed overnight in hospital on Wednesday for preliminary medical checks, but had returned to Windsor to rest. The 95-year-old monarch fell ill following a reception at Windsor on Tuesday, and at the last minute reluctantly accepted medical advice to cancel a trip to Northern Ireland, which had been due to take place this week. Speaking on BBC Breakfast, Nicholas Witchell said, Quite difficult to read this. We were led to believe on Wednesday by Buckingham Palace that the Queen was resting at Windsor Castle. As we were being told by Buckingham Palace, and of course we were relaying that to our viewers and listeners and newspapers to their readers, in point of fact, she was undergoing what are now being described as preliminary investigations. We weren't given the complete picture then, and one can understand the palace's perspective on this, they would say that the Queen is entitled to patient confidentiality, to medical privacy, notwithstanding that she is the head of state and that millions of people in this country and around the world will be concerned. The problem it seems to me is that rumour and misinformation always thrives in the absence of proper, accurate and trustworthy information. Nicholas Witchell told BBC Breakfast that information from Wednesday still needed to be recovered, as it was not made clear if there would be any further subsequent investigations into her health. He said, Now will we get further information from Buckingham Palace today about her condition? I just don't know, but I think we need to recover a little from what happened on Wednesday. We were told that there were preliminary investigations taking place. That would suggest that after preliminary investigations, there may be some further subsequent investigations. We are told that she is in good spirits. That would certainly be in line with her stoical character, but that phrase is a little bit of a cliché now. We are told that Shush is back in Windsor Castle undertaking light duties. Well we must hope we can place reliance on what the palace is telling us.